us begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Lord, send forth your Spirit, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Galatians. But I say, walk by the Spirit, and do not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to prevent you from doing what you would. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are plain, immorality, impurity, licentiousness, jealousy, sorcery, idolatry, enmity, strife, anger, selfishness, dissension, party spirit, envy, drunkenness, carousing, and like. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. The Reflection for the Day the wisdom of the flesh is the love of pleasure. This is the wisdom shown by the workly wise who seek only the satisfaction of the senses. They want to have a good time. They shun anything that might prove unpleasant or mortifying for the body, such as fasting and other austerities. Usually they think of only eating, drinking, playing, laughing, enjoying life and having a good time. They must always be comfortable and insist on having entertaining pastimes the best of food, and good company. De Montfort talks about um, how difficult it is to not give in to the temptations of the flesh and worldly temptations and the, um, all of the exciting things about the senses and things that, that true sin and, and grave sin can stem from that starts out seemingly so innocent, right? Um, enjoying things and, and because we are um, created as human, right? We, we say when we make mistakes, I'm only human. And that is true. And, and God, um, you know, came to save us because from ourselves. Um, but when you talk about the temptations of the flesh and the sins of the senses, um, I always think about um, in my role in our Catholic schools, um, about our high schoolers and, and what it's like to be young and free and experiencing so many things um, and you seem to have that quest what's your quest for happiness and I think it's so easy in our culture today um, because of all of the pervasive noise that's just at us all the time um, how we really um, can speak to and with each other through the gospel and through our relationships with each other about um, how we're supposed to in this life be constantly seeking happiness but it's eternal happiness and not immediate happiness and it's so hard even for me at this stage in my life where I'm not a high schooler anymore to remind myself of those things of what am I doing today um, you know what uh, ooh, I want, you know, I want this kind of coffee today, and that's an immediate pleasure to me. And while that's not a huge thing, um, is there something that I could be doing? Could I be fasting from that? Because, because what is going to put my eye on the ball of resisting those immediate temptations? Um, for me to do the work today that furthers me in my and uh, in, in my life and in God's plan for me so that I get the eternal reward. And I think when Louis de Montfort is talking about those kinds of temptations, they're the things that snag us off the path um, and that try and keep us from getting there. And, you know, we can say that it's the devil himself, um, but he comes in many forms. And so um, just working with our students and continually in our schools, providing those encounters um, that are that are real and are in the day and in the moment, but are that that are that are making us see how to re resist temptation and how to embrace those experiences so we are working for eternal life and resisting the temptations um, and resisting those sins so that in our quest for happiness it's the right happiness and not just what's going to give me the here and now and what's going to make me feel good um, what's going to please god and fulfill his plan and get us to heaven which is really why we're here every day. 
In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in your servants, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your might, in the truth of your virtues, in the perfection of your ways, in the communion of your mysteries. Subdue within me the power of flesh and demon, in your Holy Spirit, for the glory of the Father. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>